to Let's Play Time and Possibly Eternity. Well, my Hapog decided that it's gonna crap itself during cutscene transitions of even PlayStation 3 games, which it never used to do. Uh, I don't know if it's this game or not, but all the same, Elgato, welcome to the dance. Probably gonna be using you a lot more often now, if not completely. But anyway, quests. Enda says we need a uh, hiring plants, but plants. Yeah, she didn't know what they were. <laughs> yeah, you're not exactly. Uh, you're more street smart than book smart, or however that goes. Actually, you do a better job of explaining that than I do. If you can see the text, I worked. Uh, I had to get that whole other cable to plug that sucker in to make sure the text looked pretty good. So far, only the title screen's like super duper bright. I can barely see the what you call it on that. So on white backgrounds, this might be trouble. But other than that, as long as it records well, eh. as long as it doesn't desync every time, and uh, there is a lot of cutscene transition because of the loading screens and coming back in and uh, back from every battle. So it kept adding up on a hapag. rajo has got a quest where we got to uh, give another person their money. She's waiting at the church square. Her name is, uh, Kaya. Pretty simple. And finally, Weddy. Listening to the fairy, you're asking me for a favor. She asked me to give this to you. The time key. You know what happened last time when we got that time key? Got a spell. No idea till his grandma could, uh... Was the fucking time wizard! Grandma always told me that time key leads to the time world. I can find a new spell to control time. What is your grandma exactly? Not sure. It's just very important to me. Uh, is your grandfather the, uh... The... Time in the sand? You know, grandfather clock? Anyway, <laughs> let's go! Where are we? We're in the time world. Only those connected to time magic can exist here. Think any monsters are connected to time magic? Maybe we should as ask. With our fists! Well, you don't use fists to use, like, other weapons, but I know what you meant. Uh, time surge! This is something I will be using! I'll show that off right quick. We gotta get to that... Pink, pinkish purple dot over there. Might run into a couple of enemy fights down here. Let's hope it holds better than Hapog did. Wow, I didn't... I was about to say I wasn't going to run into any? Or the Ice Serpents. Fuck this enemy before, just dodge the quake. Get him on a spell. And move on. And by that, I meet you at the boss. Just over on that second dock there. Have you said your goodbye? Eternity Golem. Time surge it up. Gonna hit him with a flying kick to dizzy him. And just go ham. Now normally these hits would not chain together, but because I'm sped up. And they're even doing more damage because he's dizzy. You can get a trophy this way. 20 is the magic number. And you just go ham and then spam bolts. They uh rack up the damage on him while he's uh, dizzied as well. There is in something, again, I will use a whole hell of a lot. Just be kind of careful when... Because you only get three of them. Although when you level up, not only does your HP restore fully, so do your t time magics, so... Might as well go ahead and get him out the way. Engraved into my soul. Let's go back home. Weddy again? Just did my ankle really hard when I fell earlier. Ten times cruiser than usual. I even scared my fairy friend. You have to get you to a doc- No, I don't want a doctor. How about I give you a sexy massage? <laughs> you totally are. Your friend told me about something that might help. An icy leaf on the sweeping plains. Let's go get that for you. That's actually our next stop once we, uh... 
grab another quest along the way at the church square. Just don't forget at this point here, I already did it to give uh, Kaya her money. You'll be able to see that at the exclamation point. Over here is boy genius Kilia with another quest for us at the Sweeping Plains. He's still in love, so what's the next item we gotta get for him? How do I, can I shorten the distance between us, psychologically? I know there's this uh, anchovy that excretes pheromone-like fragrance. Actually, it's more like an anchovy charm. I need five of them from these golems in the Sweeping Plains. Where is he getting all these orbs to get these items? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Buy up the weapons at the shop. Uh, buy up the weapons and equips that are named after Norse gods. And then we're going to go to the Sweeping Plains Southern Entrance. Should be easy enough to find from Kamza. It's just the next dot up and to the left. Speaking of the left, that's where the red orb is. We got to warp over here. So I'll meet you there. Should be an easy enough spot. You're coming right up on it with these all these pillars surrounding it. Now we get to the newer enemies that might appear here. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but they're usually uh, passed after all these kid lungs that are easy pickings for you by now. Just remember to dodge. You want to keep as much magic as you can for the final enemy as they come out. That's a lot of HP. Thankfully, Time Surge can help you out in this situation. Like before, we can dizzy it. And these things are weak to bolt, so... Look at that damage. Look at that damage! These are the enemies that drop the Papa... That's what they're called, the Papa ones. But these are the enemies that drop them little anchovy charms. We need at least five for Kila. Kili? It's Kili. I'm saying Kila because I... Oh! Had Hunter had another brain there, sorry. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you're about to level up, your time magic will uh, restore itself if you do. Otherwise, those uh, Pompalums take a long ass time to boot. But the only attack they have is the, um, that Quake, so you can just dodge that and zap them with your spell or something like that. This will actually be a little harder with uh, Toki than it is with Toa right now because they're actually weak to bolts. They're actually weak to uh, that type of damage as Earth. Like I'll do like, um, normally I do 15 thou with a spell, but with bolt I'll do 30. If they're dizzied with my, uh, Triangle attack that flying kick. I dizzied him. It did another 15 added to that. So I was doing like 45, 50 or something along those lines. Continuing on. Yeah, they're easily dodgeable. You just use the time spell if you want to get through them like super quickly like I just did. <laughs> Should be a... I believe this is a... Open sense. Next chest I'm coming up on. Actually, I should be using the watcher call. It's, since I don't have to worry about. Since the only enemies that are down here are those golems, and sometimes. Actually, now that I'm a little further, I might get into. Yeah, there it is. Eight! That little eight in the corner over there. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be like uh, seven of these kidlums with one popolum, sometimes six kidlums with two popolums. But yeah, if you. Fight them like I do, you're not going to get hit at all, and you're going to get about a little bit over a thousand XP, so. Alright, continuing on now. Hopefully the Watcher Call kicks in a little bit more now that I've used it just before that fight. This blue dot up here. Ah, I passed it. Well, I told you what it was. It's an open sense. I think I walked right past it getting into the fight. Was right in front of me. Icy Leaf. Use this uh, low part of this uh, little s stoop part there to get up here. Another open sense. 
and finally a gold ingot at the end. Once again, making sure you have five anchovy charms before you port back to Kamza. Yeah, that's all these K's, Kilia, Kamza, Kalua. <laughs> Wait, that's not even his name, Kalua! <laughs> that's a... Damn it! Fuck sentences. Back to Kilio with a level 34 Toki with the White Magician gift gotten to eventually learn to... Spells to, like, regenerate your health and clear stat debuffs. They might come in a little bit handy. Take this home and eat it with my mom's wonderful rice. Um, do you do that with anchovies? I've never had uh, anchovies before. I can't remember if I did Surrey Loons or not. I know, uh... My father and I are over the moon on kippers. Kippered snacks. Put that on, like, a saltine cracker with a little uh, brown mustard. Kind of have a rule for mustard. If it's yellow, we ain't mellow. If it's brown, pass it down. Sorry if you can't read the uh, bottom text down there sometimes, but uh, Kilia mentions the girl we spoke to that uh, he wants to impress is someone who comes by often and is to be described of the sexy variety. And Kilia notices, like, wow, that dragon really took attention to when I said sexy. <laughs> and we would give her the... Oh, Toki's lit. Oh, Toki. You get to give her a massage? All-inclusive plan that starts with your tired legs and ends when you're not tired. Oop, I said the loud. <laughs> you, wait, you're not gonna do that for me? What? Well, of course I will. Um. Oh, okay. This game is rated T, right? Shout out those games in distress. He's just doing his service for the games. It's not sexual at all. <laughs> oh, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, this was the uh, thing I was trying to load, like, go back and, like, load saves or something like that, because I thought I missed it. Because this is for gallery stuff. I have a favor to ask. I really want you to come... Uh, what? Help me clean. This game is rated T for teen, right? I'm staring a hole through my box right now. It's like, it's that big fucking T in the corner. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, if it was two dudes, it would probably be M. I don't know. We got a couple of Nisa games that are M. I think the later uh, Neptunia games are M rated. The first one got a T. Because they didn't do, like, the weird fan service till later on. This is, like, post-Neptunia uh, the second. Mark II, I should say, or however that said. We get cheese on about, like, we should spend normal, uh, husband and what, or regular girl, you know? We're gonna do this stuff together and clean the house. But my mini dragon now, I'm not sure how normal our life can be now. We start with the roof or the floor. Go up and clean the roof or wax the floor. Hmm. Time for an upskirt shot. <laughs> if we climb up, we get a look from the bottom. If from the floor, the reflection might... Either way, I might get a peek, so... And yeah, for the gallery uh, picture unlock, we want to clean the roof. As soon as we climb the ladder, the battle begins! For the Intercontinental Championship. And... Check out the games. <clears throat> yeah, I bet you would. By now, her love should have increased to the second level, like past 50, so you can get all your, um... Uh, what is it? Your other gifts and stuff. But anyway, once we're done here, we're gonna leave home and head to the farthest rightmost area on the world map called the hateful forest there was a couple of things we wanted to that we unlocked as far as quests go from like the previous episode from all those favors and apparition i thought my uh watch i call it cut out again weirdly so if it I don't know if this thing desyncs it or not. I've only had the one problem so far with that Warriors vid where, it, like, the picture of it was, like, gl glitchy for, like, 
that amount of time, like the amount of time I took just to snap my fingers there. Anyway, I want to hit up this green part. And then that over there. Might take me a while to get there, but I'm going to take the long way and not cut out because there's a couple of enemies we can... Newer enemies that we can fight down here. With the inclusion of one old one, the uh, trick or treats, them little orange dudes are still down here. Like so. Zombie? We'll run into her about 9 thou. Spell. And bye bye. Please hold. Help me, game capture Elgato Uchta. You're my only hope at this point. Cause I think that stream really took it out of the uh, apog. I, I guess I'm not wasn't supposed to use that for it. It, it would always like sometimes like do like weird stuff. I don't know if anyone else had that problem with apog before, but then again, everybody else uses Elgato now anyway. Okay, here we go. Grim Reaper. He lingers about for a little longer, so if you wanna. A spell is where you can. Otherwise, just dodge his thing and then do it there because he does not teleport back. Like the trick or treats. Panzer Bombe? Careful using a uh, flare on these. Either they're fire based down there, that little FI down there. They'll actually do no damage to them. I think Drake, uh, you might have seen him shoot a fireball at him and do nothing to him. There's one more enemy down here called the Dark Queen, like a very Gangoro-esque succubus with green hair. They act pretty much like that, where they do the, the dashing slide kick, the flip kick, and then back and shoot, shooting uh, spell breaks at you. So that is all the enemies down here, so I can, uh, once again, spicy candy up. And to one of the uh, two bosses that are down here. That blue dot over there should be a golden hammy number five. Lady it. Flower. The one that's been creeping on that kid's toilet. I don't know why she's foot kicking. We're gonna throw a spell out. Sit. Break. She does more than that too. I think she actually like lowers the yeah, shield break, armor break. She's trying to debuff me super hard. Boom. Oh. And we get the sound princess. And we bring back that bring that back to the kid at uh Apparition. And with that, I'm gonna head all the way over to this corner here for that memory site as Toki. If you level up and turn into Toa, don't worry, that yellow dot right near it is a pepper you can use to change right back. So, actually coming up across it right now. I managed not to run into anything, which means I'm probably gonna run to it just before. Nope, I made it. Toki, are you tired? You wanna take a break? You seem kind of distracted. Look at that tree over there. Whoa. Intriguing. Look, how about you leave the puns to the professionals there, Drake? And I'll let you know if I find any, because I certainly don't qualify. Don't say it again! At least I know not to do that. Don't repeat your joke, buddy. <laughs> Even though I believe in the running gag, you know, my uh, earlier video, the... My best stuff. <laughs> Certainly can attest to that. Some of that I didn't even know I did it twice. I didn't even know I did the Sub Zero now Plane Zero twice in a row. You just climb to the top and you're, make your wish come true? Ooh. 
I was never ever good at climbing trees. I don't know, I always thought kids had like special tree climbing shoes as a young as a young whippersnapper. I could do it here. Watch me climb this tree right now. Alright. Say yes, but I'm just a little guy. Oh, it's far enough. It might break. Uh oh. It's okay. She said you'd be there to catch her. Do so as a cushion. Yeah, that's the, this one gives you like a little clue. Check out those little games. Okay. <laughs> there was a word there, so I couldn't get it. <laughs> One second, just a little longer. Yeah, I bet. Let's get an unrestricted view of Gam City over there. Another example of her doing stuff and him looking out for her. <clears throat> oh, he got plenty. Consider seeing the promised land or at least the panty line of it all the uh, payment received. It's a happy little accident. Another waypoint over here. Gotta go around this way to this quest bumper here. You're the fat president, Ghost, right? That's you again. Yeah, this time he wasn't so lucky. A monster did, in fact, eat him. Wait a sec. How are you able to see me? Uh, Ricardo's kicks. You have a near-death experience, thinks that we can see ghosts. I like that that's a plot point. So if all my employees eat this cake, we can get back to work. <laughs> so we didn't even do the plant thing yet. That's back at uh, Ricard Dolce, back at uh, Kamza. But we've already drummed up some new business for him. We're just going to let his uh, secretary Mel know back in Apparition to complete that to make the deal. Tell Mel what the purpose is. Alright, now i got to get out of here and take the long way around again because that's all fenced off. Just made like three macaroons off that fight. Beat him, by the way. Yeah, you gotta go the long way around and then continue onward. And on to one, two bird incenses. A gold ingot. Three time splinters. There's that waypoint over there. The so Behind that other boss is another gold ingot. So. Gonna cut out and meet you over there. The treasure should be easy enough to spot. They're like hugging the wall. There should be like right, right for the grabbing, like so. Again, just hug that wall. They're all be easy enough to find. And that gold ink at the end. We'll end the episode Why here. This, oh God, it's Timothy. Open up with a flare. Is the vampire the ghost mother mentioned? God. Again. He backs up. Let loose with another player. Did I get deep buffed? All my sword damage is down. That's not good. He's at low health, so I gotta dodge that. Gonna teleport back. And we're done. Is that you, Sam Regal? You showed up a lot in my games. Like, I was doing this, and then I went right to, um... What was it? Uh, the Guided Foot Paradox, which was the main character in, and Tales of Zillia back and forth, which was the main character. <laughs> I want to do both of those games someday. Again. As far as LPs go. Uh, she's going to be so happy to hear that uh, we kind of saved Tim Timothy 
<laughs> she mentioned we give him a good spanking. And I'm like, all right. And spanked him we did. So, poor back home or the apparition. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet because I haven't gotten that far yet because of all the bullshit that went on this week. <laughs> but in any case, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Time Mid-Eternity.